Hi, beautiful. How are you today? Oh boy. I just took a nap. I'm f awake. I'm ready to do this. I can't wait to watch America's Next Top Model. You know it's one of my favorite things ever to ever exist on this planet. And I'm pretty sure it's one of your favorite things too because you really love when I watch the makeovers. And listen, I could watch them every day of my life and probably never get sick of it. I don't remember a lot of the makeovers, so it's just as exciting for me to watch it back as it is for you to watch me react to them. And it's just a party, man. It's so fun. Today, we're watching season six and seven of America's Next Top Model, and I'm really interested to see what these makeovers end up like. We'll see how dated they are. Probably very dated. A couple weeks ago, I told you guys that I'd be making a donation to the World Health Organization. And with your help, I was able to donate over $6,000. So thank you so much for watching my videos and always supporting me. It not only helps me, but it can also help others. And the money is going towards so many amazing things to help the situation we're in right now, like getting masks and gloves to frontline workers and so much more. And if if you guys would like to make your own donation, the link will be right below. All right, I mean, is that it? Like, could, could we just like do this? Can we do this? Are we done? Are we good? Am I good with the intro? I think we're good. All right, let's watch the makeovers happen and see which ones are tragic and which ones are to die for. Let's do it. Brad, focus. <laughs> You ready to watch? All right, let's do it. Okay, all right. <laughs> you guys know what quarantine's doing to me? It's making me lose it. And I didn't have much to lose already. So the fact that I have lost it even more than before is kind of scary. Oh, I tie-dyed this shirt myself, by the way, guys. Like, kind of cool. Um, Here we go. We're at the salon. We're in Chicomi. Hello. One of the best salons in the entire Oh my god, Tyra looks so pretty here. I'm not gonna lie, Tyra's wig sometimes looks a little wild. <laughs> Come on, I'm not the only one who thinks that. I mean, they were a little wild. This wig though, ooh, you really showed us how to lay a wig down in this shot. I need long hair because I know in the industry, long No, don't change your hair. It's so pretty. After makeovers, you all will be doing a photo shoot to capture your new looks. All righty, starting with you, Carrie. We're gonna give you Bridget Bardot sexy hair. It's kind of like mine, but even bigger. What? That was supposed to be her makeover? Bridget Bardot? Bridget Bardot was blonde and this girl's already blonde. I wanted more than that. Give me more. A blowout? You're gonna give her a damn blowout for a makeover? So it's gonna be thicker and more luscious. All right, what is this? Thicker and more luscious. What is, what is the makeover, Tyra? What is the makeover? You know how much face you had, girl, until we saw that bald photo shoot? Are they shaving her head? It'd be short. <gasps> and longer on the top. And it's Ooh. Bridget Nielsen. <gasps> yeah, that'll be so fun. Jocked because it's nothing like my personal style. Danielle, you're gonna have a side perk long weave with Spanish wavy hair. Okay. No, I can get with that. Look at you. We think Victoria's Secret. We think high fashion. So you know whose hair you're gonna get? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're gonna get Miss Giselle Bunch. Oh! Wow. I'm, yeah. That will look really good on her. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's good. That's really good for her. We're gonna do a little bit more blonde on you and make you a little bit more icy. Okay. Nena, we were all impressed with that so boring. photo shoot. So you know what you're gonna get? Buzz. All your Thank God. Her hair looks like it is hanging by a thread. Let's just shave it off. Let's start new. Let's have fun. Let's do it bald. That'll be great. I love that. Rhonda, that hair child at casting with that wig on. What the hell was that? <laughs> and in judging the other <laughs> What the hell was that? Tyra is so brutal. Of the history of America's Next Top Model is Tiffany Cycle Four. Yes! She had a middle part down to here. Wait, that's one of the all-time favorite looks. If you guys saw my last hairdresser reacts to America's Next Top Model makeovers, I said Tiffany got one of the best makeovers ever, and I didn't even know that was like a thing that people loved her makeover. I mean, she looked amazing, so I'm not surprised. I'm ready. For yes. Makeover. Yes. Myself up. Oh, these are gonna be good. So that I can perform. Wendy, we're gonna make you like. Brighter, brighter, honey, delicious. Yeah, that's fun. Edgy cuts and angles to your hair to make you more high fashion. Yes. Oh my God, I want to buy a cute denim skirt. Miss <laughs> <laughs> right. Molly Sue, if you think back to cycle five of America's Next Top Model, when I wanted Cassandra to have a Mia Farrow haircut, I'm not happy with it, I'll be honest, because this is not the <gasps> that I told Tyra looks so pretty here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
God. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. It's not about Tyra right now. Specifically said, Mia Farrow. It's always about Tyra. He's baby. So you're not ready to cut your hair? No. You just gotta leave my set. Okay. I never got to get my Mia Farrow haircut. So I'm getting it today on you. And last but not least, Jade, we want to make you look softer, sweeter, elf like. This short, blondish with blondish eyebrows. I was really shocked about that. My hair is it's going. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to see. Uh-huh. Blonde with blonde eyebrows. Ah, oh, I love blonde eyebrows. A lot of girls when they start modeling, you know, they had this hair from when they were a kid. When you're a model, everything and anything goes. Not really unique, but change my color. Because you know, in modeling, the modeling world, the girls that work have the blonde hair. This was a disaster haircut, and I need something to be confident about so that it can show. Oh, shave it off, cut it off, color it, do it. <laughs> what a f icon! No, you're not going to that Christmas party this year, girl. No. Mm -mm. Antonio was like, we're gonna cut this short and leave this high. Oh, great. Another like mohawk look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> her hair looks so good. Is that in her makeover? It looks a lot better. Oh my god, I love that. Sarah gets this crazy, funky haircut that just didn't really fit her personality. And No, it looks awful. Really took it not good. It seems like you can do a lot with that though. A lot. No, you can't, but we can pretend. I want you to define for us what you think your personal style is. I like vintage a lot. So you're a late 40s, early 50s vintage girl. This is like the most drastic change I've ever had. She looks no different. I absolutely love the color. I think it suits me. What is her before? <laughs> Again with these before pictures. Can we just take like a decent before picture? Like when they walk into the salon that morning, just snap a photo. She looks pretty much the same. Cute style, um, a little bit of highlight. I can vibe with it. I think it's not the worst, but mm. we're gonna pick who gets the best makeover at the end of this. Tell me what you think your personal style is. I think it's simple and sophisticated. I've always had straight black hair. I wanted something drastic. Big poofy curls or just something, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Woo! She looks the same. A little bit better. Pretty much the same. Black hair, but it really works for her. She looks amazing. Why change it if it's working, you know? This is great. I'm really excited about my new Oh, this is that. This is good. To a very updated version of mod. Do you think you Oh, it's very mod. <gasps> Hot, hot. Okay, this is definitely going on my my favorites list right now. This haircut just changed her entire face shape, really opened her up, gave her so much more structure in her face, accentuated the good parts and took away from the bad parts of her face. This color is fabulous. 10 out of 10, amazing. Who is Faranda? It's really simple, sometimes it's kind of quirky. So Faranda's the quirky beautiful. Makeover day is a guy's thing. Oh! It's really versatile and it'll give me a lot more to work with with my look. Okay, I mean, the weave was interesting. Is it my favorite? No, I mean, the weave didn't look very well done. Ooh. I mean, you could still see her really short hair in the front and it was like in the kind of a mess. Nothing like Tiffany's. This one's gonna be like a, uh, it's okay for me. Like it wasn't the best situation. I think they could have really turned her out and gave her amazing dark long hair, but they ended up just like missing it for me. It wasn't, it wasn't right. I really like the 60s. I think they kind of went with the okay, 60s. Okay, so oh. like Gimi and she. I was hoping for maybe <laughs> our shorter. I do not want to look like Barbie, but I'll have to rock it. She looked way better before. They literally made her look like a Barbie doll slash real housewife. I don't know where we like got that vibe from or like that inspiration. She looked way better before with that beautiful wavy hair, that more natural looking hair color, much more model-esque before than after. Definitely a no for me on that. No. I want to be unique and more natural. I'll call it the new African queen. I think this bold look helps. Wow, she looks incredible with a shaved head. Have you ever seen a more perfect head shape? Because I haven't. And I've watched a lot of people shave their heads. So if there's one person who's seen a good head shape, it's me and this tops it all. Like street chic? I have to redo my whole wardrobe. <laughs> street chic? On the chair, it just didn't seem to fit my personality. I'm already getting more used to it, but I was not gonna be the girl in the salon crying about her new- Yes, Sarah, what a trooper. 
Yeah, so it could have been good. I think they just missed the mark a little bit. They like didn't make it short enough or something. It looks like a grown out, like ugly haircut. <laughs> the color's a bit brassy, which I don't really mind, but it's so in between. It's like not a real style to me. It's not long, but it's not short and it looks overgrown and I just don't think it has a purpose. I think just a little bit shorter, it would have been great. I think right now it's very American. You've defined it for me as the all American all girl. American girl. I love it also really gives me a lot more. I mean, it's pretty, but there's no edge to it. There's nothing interesting going on. It's it's highlights. And I think she also looked more natural and better before. When you're a model, you should look more on the natural side than on the like crazy, like I just did my hair all wild and shit side. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just the highlights look like cap highlights too. You know, when you put the cap on, you like pull also the hole and you bleach it all. It looks like they did that to her. They're like little stripes. A little balayage moment would have been better, but this was filmed a very long time ago and who knows what they were doing back then. I think with the hair and everything, I just think like sexy. Understated sexy. Simple. Understated sexy chic. I just wanna like swing it around and play with it. And <laughs> me on any photo shoot. You are giving me understated, real housewife, lunch lady, business, casual, chic. Just like making it up. Okay, hot. Listen, I can't be mad at it. They gave her longer hair. Fun. Great. I have nothing to say. Moving on. Urban glam. I like the hair and it's easier for me to keep up. So it made me feel a lot better. I think they just like diffused her hair and gave her highlights, which is definitely a vibe. I don't like hate it. Again, just a boring one and I'm gonna move on because I don't really care. With the hair, with the new look, I'm thinking really sexy, glamorous. Street chic, but glamorous, right? Hip hop, glam. I had this long report. Hip hop, glam, street chic. <laughs> He's so extra. She looks the same. Give me something. Give me something, okay? I need something to react to. You're just doing the same damn hair over and over again, and it's boring. I'm pissed. Ugh. She looks fine. I mean, she looked pretty. It was just like boring. Whatever. I'm moving on again. Not really. I'm okay, more what's your bohemian? More you think you're a bohemian? Okay, Jade looks good. Yeah. I've had my hair cut really short, and I feel like length is very important. Jade looks really good. Okay, this is good. Rhonda got. Okay, yes. Okay, I needed this. <gasps> oh! oh my god. You gave me something to work with. You gave me something to work with, finally. She looks stunning. Way better for her face with the shorter hair. The light hair looks great. The before hair was doing nothing for her face. She looks like a stunning supermodel after. Not on my favorites list, but really good. So what are we going for today? Get our project, fabulous. It's really important during a makeover for a girl to understand her own personal style. You know what we're gonna call this one? We're gonna call this the Al Sharpton. Oh my God. I am literally Jay Manuel. Like and I'm just coming to this realization. <laughs> All right, so those were all the makeovers for season six. A lot of really boring ones, I will say. There were a couple that stood out though. One was Molly Sue with that red pixie cut. So good, her before and after was incredible. And then there was Nena where they just shaved her head completely bald and she could not have looked any prettier. And it was such a simple change, but really effective and really changed her look up dramatically. All right, let's check out season seven makeovers and see how they compare to season six. Hopefully we got a little more action this time around. Are you ready to hear what you're gonna get? <laughs> Show us Tyra. Miss Melrose. Oh my God, I remember Melrose. I remember her. Big alien-esque blue eyes. But then there's this hair that's kind of so we are taking you to the next level, baby! <gasps> Nadia Auerman, who was a top model in my day. Oh my God, I remember this. Her makeover was incredible. I can't wait to see it again. I kind of forget what it looks like, but I'm excited. Miss Brooke, you look like you should be running for president of the America's Next Top Model Association. So you need to be edge. Okay. <laughs> I love those drawings. Split brown. Ooh, that'll look so good on her. You think you're better than everybody else? You don't like the last season of America's Next Top Model Girl. They're boring. It just seems like they're really generic. And a girl that thinks she's better than everybody else needs some hair, girl. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Megan. The pixie needs to be taken to the next level, baby. 
Yes. So you are going to be a pixie blonde little poop. Ato, voila! You're just getting layers and some shortening. I need layers. I've had this for. Oh God! Give her layers, girl. Right now is really, really low. So we actually have threaders back there, and we're going to move back your hairline just a little bit. Oh. So you're going to go from an actual forehead to a Tyra Banks five head, girl. Where did they come up with this? We have threaders in the back ready to take back your hairline. Did I hear that correctly? What do we do to this girl that already looks great? There's a picture of me a long time ago. I was oh, Sandy whoa. <laughs> Hottie. And we use that picture as inspiration for Monique's hair. I want more, you know? Yeah. A little bit different, like maybe cut my hair or something or like. Yeah, kind of boring. Different color. Miss Carrie D, when your hair is like this, you tend to look a little too actressy. So can you let your hair down for Frederick? He's gonna help. Let the master take control. Oh, you want weed? Oh, how <laughs> Me. Linda Evangelista circa 1992, baby. We're gonna. Ooh, it. fun. Meg. Sometimes it's about embracing what God gave you. So we know you have a little frizzy curl, and you're gonna get more of it today. Okay. So, Michelle, you're a little mousy, so we have to throw away the mouse. And bring the fire, baby! <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. This one look. This will look really good. We're taking you, fire engine. Yeah! So you're gonna have texture, Michelle and Amanda. You're gonna be straight and classy like you are. Ooh, fun. Jada. Oh my God, Jada's so pretty. I remember her. I'm the prettiest girl in school. You know, everybody says how pretty I am, but actually, in this competition, you're actually the most handsome. Now that might sound like an insult, but what we're saying is it's kind of a boyish quality to your face, and that photograph's really strong. It's called androgyny. Oh, I, <laughs> I channeled an actress. Halle Perry hair. Yeah, that'll look so good. This morning, you said you could cut my hair off. I don't care. Your modeling will have to change with this. You have to go totally against what you have been raised to be. Okay, and all of you are gonna get these absolutely glorious looks. Yes. And you're gonna be modeling in a sexy photo shoot in metallic yeah. swimsuits. Are we ready? Ooh, yeah. I'm super happy with my short form. Oh, give me a break. I knew they were saving me for last for a reason. I don't want to look the same. Shut my hair off. Oh, I see balayage. I see cutting. I see fun stuff. What the hell is that? <laughs> looks like they put a dead animal on your head. This does nothing for her. Nothing. She's like, nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one hurt. The threading part, it hurt like a bitch. But instead of being two heads, I'm like a three, four head. Yes, three head. This is probably the all time most boring hair transformation on America's Next Top Model. They literally just took back her hairline a centimeter and called it a day. Do better. It's not gonna look good blonde. Why? Because I just feel like my hair pops out with, with dark features. Can we try and figure it out? Melrose, please, please. I can't believe Melrose is all upset about being blonde. I know yes. she's gonna, honestly, if I was in her position, I wouldn't want to be blonde either. Girl, just do it. You can always go back. It's not that big of a deal. Like, chill. It looks so good. Thank you. It's oh my god, she looks hot. I've never had brown hair. I've always been a blondie. But Frederick Sakai is the master, and it turned out beautiful. Oh my god, she looks amazing with the brown hair. Brings out her eyes, brings out her skin tone so much more. It makes her look so much healthier, more vibrant, a little bit younger, fresh. It was really good. Also, that dye job was A1 beautiful. They really brought her back to brown and did it very well. That's unfilling hair before dyeing it. Only the hairstyles will know what I mean. Honestly, I don't know if I can work with this new hair. I'm just really bad with hair in general. Pretty much anything. Girl. I mean, it looks similar. I do like the the more about having different looks because I like the copper better for sure. Now we can't switch. We can't like trick people as easily. Can we get those looks side by side here? Her and her sister, she goes, I'm mad we can't look the same anymore because we got different looks. I'm sorry. But to me, it looks like you got the exact same makeover. Oh, Jay's gonna go for it. He's chopping it off. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Here goes the breakdown. Okay, that's 
Oh god. Wow, it already looks good. I love how Jade just like traumatizes them for fun. Whatever. I just feel so masculine. I feel like I lost my like girlish thing going on. Okay, Jada, you need to shut up because you look way better with this haircut. Jada, amazing. Jada, fabulous. I looked in the mirror after they got done styling it and everything. It just felt so beautiful on the outside. And I feel beautiful on the inside. It's kind of all like. <laughs> What? America's Next Top Model be playing me so hard today. I didn't even get to see your hair. I mean, like in the after picture, you couldn't even see your head. Give me a better before and after, please. I mean, she pretty much looked the same with more curls. It was ugly. I wish they chopped her hair off. I wish they did something fun. They're gonna chop it off and shave me down and all that stuff. Oh, ooh, sexy. Oh, yeah, no, that was good. She needed that. She needed those inches. That, that looked really nice. I like the wave. It was a little overdone. It was a little bit overkill, but I'll take it. It was better than the other makeovers. Eyes are so popping out. It was amazing having Frederick Fakai work on us. He cut my hair in like. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! You did it. You did it. That was great. Megan, oof. The blonde is your thing. Always stay that blonde. Her skin is glowing. Her eyes are popping. She is popping. And it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Very happy. It's a funny coincidence that all the looks that I love today are all like pixie cuts. What? Boy she hates it. Hates it. A lot of young girls that try to over control the situation, they don't go too far. Her eyebrows, she looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my look. Uh -huh. Yeah, she looks crazy. <laughs> oh, Melrose needs to shut the hell up because she looks way better with this hair. It has a purpose now. Her hair before was just doing nothing for her. When I first got my hairstyle, I was in shock. It's still a little bit too light for Frederick for Kai is kind of like doing something for me right now. Kind of hot. The color is way better. The lighter brown looks just more professionally done. Before it looked like box dye. So much shinier, so much healthier looking. I don't love the cut. It's okay. Would have liked something a little bit shorter though. <laughs> Girl. What's the story? Dad is having a bad day. I can't even sleep because it's like the alarm is going off and so I can't huh? sleep. Oh my god. Do you want this career? This is not hard. You are getting a fresh hair weave by a master stylist. And if the alarm's going off, put in earplugs. Just see these young girls who supposedly oh, wanted to be your What a gem. Just kind of throw it off and say, oh. I don't like it. <gasps> hot, but not on my favorites list because it's just like a little bit too boring. But like, hot? She, ooh, wow, she could probably win this season. I love that hair on her. So that's all the makeovers from season seven. <gasps> Girl. My two favorite looks from this season was Jada, when she got that really short pixie cut that made her feel like a boy. And then Megan with the blonde pixie cut. They went from dark to blonde and it was like just so much better. So cute. I mean, again, that season was kind of lame though. Give me more next time, please. Okay, my favorite makeover from these two seasons was Molly Sue. She looked incredible. The hair before is doing nothing for her. That really short pixie cut slayed my damn life. She looks so much more like a model. I don't know. It just did everything for me and more and it was iconic. That is all for today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on literally everything. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. I have a new Snapchat show. I have a Facebook page. You can find me at BradMondoNYC on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and TikTok. And the rest is just Brad Mondo. And if you guys would like beautiful, fabulous, amazing, flowing, gorgeous, healthy hair, you can shop X Mondo hair it's linked below and check out our instagram at xmondohair.com to see what kind of products we have and all the new and exciting things going on thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye guys this is bdsm our slick and defined bomb this is gonna be a perfect product to finish any style you just put a little in your hands distribute it through the bottoms of your hair and you'll get that lived in sort of cool texture we're seeing a lot of nowadays also best thing to use this for flyaways edges tame them down girl get them glued to that forehead you know that look